trying to understand what is the difference between singleton and static class okay let's go directly to analyze that okay fine so here the main difference of a singleton and static class is okay let's go and see that so here in the singleton we can uh, able to create the constructor okay but uh, in the static you can't uh, create any see okay before i going to show i just show if you guys not aware of what is a singleton so singleton is uh, the object which is uh, created when uh, you trying to assess the any class uh, throughout the application with a single object then singleton will helps so how to structure a singleton is uh, this is the way just uh, you have to create the class okay and uh, uh, the and there is a method where uh, if instance is already created okay then uh, create the new instance of the class okay so here i am assessing try to assess the singleton by singleton dot instance because instance is my static method which i am trying to assess there so if i try to assess the same method uh, then it will execute the same result because why so uh, once the first instance get created okay if it's null it will assign my private property instance to the new object of the singleton okay the next time i'm trying to assess it's not null so it's returning the instance of uh, the same okay for the my class so oops, uh, understand this okay the, what is the static class static class is uh, like a same uh, where you can able to okay the uh, one second it's all right static okay fine okay so here what i can do is i can directly assess my static class without creating any object So what's the main uh, difference? Let's go and analyze now. Okay. So I just showed you like uh, so. This is the way you can uh, refer the singleton and uh, static class. So that static class you don't need to create any object. So directly you can um, call your uh, static method. Okay. So but uh, here it's a bit different. So I'm creating the uh, this uh, this is the object uh, which uh, holding in this method which I am assigning to the singleton and I am trying to. Uh, use it for all over okay the first point is that so uh, so singleton is just it's an object okay uh, so which is uh, used throughout the application it's considered as an object okay so that's the point so another uh, thing is like so here i, I have a constructor okay uh, this is my protected constructor which i can able to do in the singleton but uh, if you go to the static you try to uh, create any okay you call it a uh, static constructor static see it throws me error saying that static class cannot have the instance constructor okay you can't have an instance uh, okay that is the another point which you need to note it on so static class can't do any kind of you can't uh, declare any kind of uh, constructor over there okay the next thing is you can't do any inheritance okay so here i create some interface called uh, interface home okay something you call it as i home and then i create the class called home okay cool so now when i try to inherit the interface see it's throwing saying that static class uh, cannot be implemented the interface but in the singleton it will allow the inheritance and the same if you try to use the class see static class cannot derive from the type home static class must derive from the object that, that's what's saying so you can't derive static class cannot derive from any type you, static class must derive from the object it should be derived from the object it's not derived from any other class that's what it's saying so here again it accepts you class and it, uh, yeah class doesn't support uh, multiple 
in ten to ten. Sorry, that's fine. See, so it uh, it is uh, happening here inheritance, and the another uh, the case is the static object will be created when the application is starts, but uh, singleton it's kind of lazy load. Uh, it will be created later and whenever the required first time when you are creating the object that time it will be get uh, created so that that's the advantage of the single time okay and the another uh, point is like uh, you can't use the static class as a parameter mm, suppose uh, here i have a method okay public uh, void mm, okay you call it same my data okay something like that so try to pass here the static classes uh, parameter okay so this method is saying static class static type cannot be used as parameter naming rule violation okay that's the second part uh, the first part is static you can't use as a parameter but in this case i can use the singleton object the class as a parameter okay so you can use the singleton as a parameter but static class you can't so hopes you understand these are the difference which i uh, found and i want to share with you guys if you missed if i missed anything you feel like which you need to share please share your thoughts in the comment section it will helps for the people thanks for watching the video uh, if you not subscribe my channel before just subscribe my channel so that you will get the notification new videos if i put the videos uh, in my channel